students wore white ribbons at Hofstra University's graduation ceremony this morning in memory of 21-year-old junior Andrea Rabello, University President Stuart Rabinowitz. Our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers go out to her family, her friends, and her classmates. Just before 2.30 Friday morning, police were called to the home she shared with her twin sister and other students because of an alleged armed robbery. There's a gun pointed at them and there are hostages. The subjects have guns pointed at, the, at their heads. Victoria DeHell lives four doors down. I heard the screams and then I looked outside and there's police officers everywhere. And it was a girl screaming. It was the most horrifying scream I've ever heard in my entire life. Really? It was awful, awful. Police say the gunman, identified as 30-year-old Dalton Smith, demanded money and jewelry from the students. When police arrived, Smith put Rebello in a headlock. They named his 9mm pistol at one of the officers, Nassau County Police Gun Detective police John Azada. And at that point, the police officer fires several rounds. The officer eventually fired eight rounds in total. Seven of those rounds struck our subject. One of those rounds struck the victim. Smith was killed. Rebello later died at the hospital. Today, mourners left flowers at the home as a crime scene cleanup team worked inside. Police won't release the name of the officer who fired the shots, but say he's a 12-year veteran of the force. He's on leave, and the department has opened an internal investigation. Police have been asked whether that officer followed protocol, but said they won't be answering those questions until after the investigation. As for Smith, he had served nine years in prison and was wanted for parole violations.